As we explore rational functions, it's a good idea to remember what a rational function is. A well, rational function is the ratio of two functions. Typically, we, we introduce p of x divided by q of x as our terminology in expressing a rational function. So for example, I have some f of x with a function on the top and a function in the denominator. That's a rational function. Basically, it's a fraction using functions. So to explore these, one of the first things we always have to be aware of is its domain. We want to make sure we don't approach a situation where we might divide by zero because all things go crazy when that happens. So we want to be careful when that happens. So how do we know within a fraction what to watch out for? We want to ensure that the denominator never equals zero. In this particular example, that will happen when x will equal zero, two, or negative five. So we must exclude those from our domain. Couple examples we want to look at. Let's say for example, I have uh, some function f of x equals x squared minus nine over x minus three. So what would you say its domain is? Well, its domain has to be all numbers except for three. If three was in the domain, we would divide by zero. So in this particular case, I would write my solution or understand that the domain is all x such that x does not equal three. I can put it in set builder notation or I also can put it in interval notation where I have the solutions of negative infinity to negative three with a union of negative three to positive infinity. And that's interval notations way of describing that solution. Let's look at another example. x over x squared minus nine. Its solution, well not a solution, but its domain. Look what happens to the denominator. Maybe it's easier to see as you write it, as you factor it out. So there I see that it cannot be three or negative three. So again, with set builder, that's all x such as x does not equal three or negative three. Or I could write it as interval notation, as a union of several interval notation sets. So I know I have solutions from negative infinity to negative three with a union of negative three to positive three with a union of three to positive infinity. And that's an interval notation. One last example we can look at as we just to kind of remember what does do, what do domains look like and how to deal with domains? Third example here, I want to ensure that my denominator does not equal zero. I could identify right now that there's no number within the real numbers that make the denominator zero. So for this one, the domain is a set of all real numbers or it's on the interval of negative infinity to positive infinity.